Now that we have our tickets data displayed in this table here, um, it's time to enable the creation of new tickets. And we're going to do that by um, adding a new button at the top of the page, uh, saying something like add new ticket. Um, this will take us to a new page which will contain a form uh, where we will enter data uh, pertaining to summary, description and status and on clicking submit that should add the new ticket to our database for display in this table. We're going to be using Bootstrap to style our buttons so if we go over to the Get Bootstrap site and have a look at the documentation in components buttons and here we go copy this one now let's find where we're going to put it so resources views tickets index and it's going to be at the top somewhere here I think below the tickets heading so where's that that's there and I think I'll put it within the div see how that looks and I'll call it add new ticket uh, we don't need the roll of button there and for now I'll leave the href as it is uh, saving that and refreshing the page okay that's over there hmm let's see now um, okay so that's where the link is uh, we put it within this div here which also includes share and export okay so that's why why it's up there with those other two buttons I think we'll move this down and what's this div maybe putting it within that div but at the bottom save that and refresh okay it's still on the same line I actually want it down here so let's try again let's you know I think uh, put it within this one it's actually up to you how you style this. I mean, the, the important thing is that we get a button on here that takes us to the new create uh, ticket form. So uh, I think that'll do for now. And we should think about where this link will take us. So back over to the link. Um, I think we should go to tickets forward slash create. Oops. Yeah, I think so. Let's save that. There now needs to be a corresponding route uh, that matches this path here. So I'll copy that and go to the routes file. So that's the existing route that displays all our tickets. I'll just type this out in full just for practice. Now this is the, the route I've copied and again it will be the ticket controller and it will be the create method and I'll call this, I'll give the route a name this will be tickets.create so you can see the convention that we're using here tickets.index and um, well index is the method tickets is the entity uh, tickets dot create and create is the the method there now that we're directing get requests to this path to this method in this controller we should find this controller and have a look at the create method so here it is uh, we're going to do a similar thing to the index method we're going to, we're simply going to return a view so uh, 
again just type this in full just for practice right tickets dot create so that will return the create dot blade dot php view uh, within the tickets folder and we've not created that just yet so we're going to do that now over in resources views tickets we've already got an index dot blade dot php uh, the easiest thing is to just copy and paste this and give it the new name of create so just opening this up we don't need no table so I'll just get rid of this div here and I'll just put some dummy text in here just so that we can test that the root works so back over here if we go to create it doesn't work mostly because I haven't saved the ticket controller so just saving that back over here refresh create so we know now that uh, this root here is sending us to the create method which in turn is returning this view here where we put this text da da so now we need a form um, I'm styling my form with bootstrap so um, if you want to get more familiar with these styles then uh, getbootstrap.com is the place to go so uh, I'll leave the action for now this will be post method and we're gonna need our cross site request forgery field Um, if you don't understand what this is for, then uh, the best place to go is the Laravel documentation. You don't really need to understand what it's for, what it does. As long as you include this on um, within every form, you should be okay. Let's just tidy this up. Method equals post. Right, okay. What do we need to enter in this form? Let's go over to um, MySQL. Uh, the tickets table consists of well the ID gets generated for us automatically we need an input field for summary description and status likewise created at and updated at are all handled by uh, Laravel so we don't need to worry about those it's just these three fields that we need to have inputs for so let's have a div with a class of form group and within this we need a label and this will be the summary so summary and the input uh, type text the ID is summary name of summary as well and the class will be what's it now form control let's save this and see what it looks like hmm not bad it's a bit wide uh, but it does the job let's add similar inputs for description and status description status that's a lot of text so I'll copy that paste it here capital and same again for status Oops. Just copy that. 
save and refresh okay that looks good and what do we need we need a button uh, shall I put it in a, a div of its own Ooh, let's have a go without so button we need a class of uh, form control, so I'll just steal this. Put it on there. Type of submit. And the text shall be add. I think. Let's have a look and see what that looks like. That looks awful. Ooh, I didn't mean to press that. <laughs> <laughs> just go back. Um, what's wrong with it? Uh, I think we need a class. Uh, we don't need form control. It's button and it's a primary one. So I'm sure this will improve the looks. That's much better. This video is getting a, a teensy bit long now and we still need to um, handle what happens when we click on the add button um, so I think we'll save that um, and also the insertion of new records into the database uh, for the next video if we do click on this button you can see that uh, we get an error and that is because uh, we're sending a post request to this route that's what this button does post request because method is post and in the root file all we've got is a, a get request coded for tickets create so what we need is to code a, a post uh, to this uh, path and we'll do that in the next video